Welcome to the Sidra Intersection tutorial series. In this video, we'll show you how to use the Network Configuration dialog. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tap the bell to receive notifications about our new videos. Now let's begin. In Sidra Intersection, the sites and their connections define a network. This allows you to model many different traffic network configurations, including complex arrangements. You will need to prepare the sites under the Site tab before setting up a network. You can create networks under the Network tab using the Add, Clone, and Import functions. To create a new network, click the Add button in the Network Setup group in the ribbon. This will open the Network Configuration dialog. The Sites section in the Network Configuration dialog lists the sites that are available in the project. The use of site IDs is recommended to identify the sites in the network. To form a network, click a site name in the Sites section. Hold drag into the Network Configuration pane on the right, and drop. Click another site name, hold, drag into the right pane, and drop. The names of the sites used in the network will be listed in the Sites in Network section. Once used, the site name will appear in gray color in the Sites section. To connect the sites, Click the gray connection bar at the end of a site leg. Hold and drag the green line that appears towards another site leg, and then drop in the connection bar on the destination leg. When aligning a site with an adjacent site, the pictures will snap into position. For moving the site pictures more smoothly, press the Shift key, then click the site picture and move it slowly. Repeat the process until all desired sites are moved into the right pane and connected. The legend on the left-hand side of the dialog provides an explanation of the colors used for the connection bars and lines. Green connection lines and bars indicate a valid connection with a consistent number of lanes and consistent approach and exit distance values for the two connected sites. Red connection lines and bars indicate a connection error, resulting from a mismatch in the number of lanes at the connection point. Hold the cursor over the red bar at the connection point to read the detailed error message. A connection error can be corrected in the Lane Geometry input dialogs of the connected sites. Let's change the lane configuration of Site 104 to correct the connection error. Right-click the image of the site and select the Lane Geometry Input dialog. A confirmation message box will appear before opening a Site Input dialog to inform you that any changes you make will affect all networks that include this site. Click Yes to accept. Change the lane configuration of the north leg by deleting one of the exit lanes to match the number of approach lanes of Site 101 at mid-block connection. Click OK to close the Lane Geometry dialog and note the changed status in the Network Configuration dialog. Dark orange connection lines and bars indicate a connection warning. This results from inconsistent approach distance and exit distance values for the connected sites. A connection warning can be removed by specifying consistent approach distance and exit distance values in the Intersection Input dialog. Select Site 103 to make the correction. Open the Intersection dialog. Select the east leg and change the approach distance to 300. Click OK to close the intersection dialog and note the changed status in the network configuration dialog with green connections only. It is important to note that two one-way approach legs or two one-way exit legs cannot be connected. To delete a connection, 
click the X button on the connection bar on either leg. You may wish to have non-connected sites in your network for various reasons. To remove a site, click the Delete symbol on the right-hand side of the site name in the Sites in Network section. You can also right-click the site image or the site name in the Sites in Network section and select Remove Site from this network in the menu. You can rename the network in the Network Configuration dialog by clicking the Network Name in the Networks section or in the Network Data Input dialog. Before finishing, let's review the dialog buttons. OK means accept the changes and close the dialog. If you do not wish to save this configuration, click Cancel or press Escape. Use Apply only to accept the current configuration while keeping the dialog open. There is no need to click Apply immediately before clicking OK or Process Network. The Process Network button means accept the changes, close the dialog, and process the network, carrying out computations to produce output. This has the same effect as closing the dialog and then clicking the Process button. If a network is processed successfully, the network output reports and displays, and the site output reports and displays for all sites in the network will be available. You will get an error message if there is a connection error in the network that you are attempting to process. When the program gives a processing error, the site output for network section will only contain the diagnostics report, which includes the error message. You can view the network layout picture in the display pane by clicking the Layout button in the ribbon. The input dialogs for the new network are seen in the Network Input section. To edit the configuration of a network at a later stage, select the Network Name in the Network section and click Network Configuration in the Network Input section. To remove a network from the project, select the network name in the Networks section and use the Delete command in the ribbon or right-click the network name and select Delete in the menu. Remember to save your project regularly as the project file is not saved automatically after input changes are made. This concludes our tutorial on Network Configuration Dialog in Sidra Intersection. Thank you for watching.